What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It has been a whirlwind of a summer for me. I'm sorry about that. If you guys don't know or if you haven't paid attention or whatever, maybe you noticed that this is not the same truck. It looks the same, but it's not the same truck is what I have had in every other video since. Uh, a couple days ago, I sold my Chevy. Didn't think I would sell it, but um, one of them had to go, and this one wasn't going, so sold my Chevy. So this truck actually now here is a uh, 2005 GMC Sierra Duramax. My Chevy was an 03 LB7. This one's an LOI. I redid a lot of stuff in this truck, and that's actually a very nice truck. Um, I did a lot of things. I did head gaskets. I studded it injectors glow plugs a lot of you people you watching probably won't understand what i'm saying but basically this truck should go for another 200,000 miles without any major issues um i rebuilt that i mean the list goes on i have a big list of stuff i did to this thing it's a nice truck well anyways so i haven't been posting lately and i'm sorry for that but it's because i've been uh, working a ton Every Saturday I've been working. Last weekend I got I got it off because uh, one of my really good buddies, Matt, we had his bachelor party up at Lake. Um, I'll show you a couple clips really quick of that. There you go. There you go. Right, that there thing is massive. Look at how big. I want to feel that. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'm gonna put that on the back seat. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Don't keep them down, keep them low. See that thing, Buck? 20, 20 inches. Oh, there he goes. He'll be good. But then basically, so I've been working and this weekend is Labor Day weekend. Um, Shay, my girlfriend, wanted to do something with me, so uh, we, uh, we ended up um, talking a little bit. And at first we were like, well, let's go down to the state fair and uh, Maybe we'll watch the rodeo on Friday night in town here, and then uh, and then we'll go camp for the weekend. But we were both trying to figure out where we were gonna go camping. We were talking about it over Snap and texts, and then all of a sudden she was like, well, what if we go to South Dakota? And I said, well, I mean, there's nothing really cool in South Dakota unless you go like all the way out to like the Badlands. So I went on my phone really quick and I typed in Badlands, and Badlands are like nine hours from me which really is not that far. Um, the only thing I was skeptical about was uh, I knew the brakes on this truck were really bad. We started looking at it a little more and I was like, well, Custer Parks, Custer State Park is only another two hours. It's like 11 hours from here. That's not terrible. So, um, so tomorrow after work, after she's done with school, we're gonna take off and we're gonna go all the way out to Rapid City just for the weekend. Um, it's my first three day weekend all summer and uh, we're gonna use every second of it so i don't know if this is gonna be one video two videos three videos not sure but i figured it'd be cool to bring you guys along for this trip because uh it's literally gonna be we're gonna leave friday night we're gonna drive and then we're gonna get there and we're gonna have two full days to do kind of whatever we want and then monday is gonna be a travel day back it's gonna be a lot of a lot of driving it's gonna be a good test for this truck oh one thing i forgot so i th i think i mentioned that the brakes were really bad in this truck well they were really bad so last night when i got off work i went straight to the auto parts store and i bought what i thought i was gonna need brought it home and i did all my brakes and i ended up needing a caliper and one more rotor and one more set of pads so truck currently has a full brand new set of pads and rotors all the way around and it has a caliper on this passenger rear and a line out here so should be good to go but we're gonna test it so i just gotta pack the main stuff like uh everything i need to take my tires off some miscellaneous uh you know basically a socket set stuff that i need just i might need usually i bring like coolant oil uh some brake fluid and power steering fluid just to, just in case something goes wrong then i gotta fill my water up my water jug gotta check propane cylinders i think i have enough to cook for the weekend I mean, it's only three dinners, so my guess would be a lot of hiking, but I have no idea, and I'm super excited about it. Oh, before I forget, if any of you guys are hardcore Northern Tactics fans and you want a piece of merch, you want to support me and my uh, my endeavors, 
head over to northerntactics.us and um, get yourself a piece of clothing, whether it be a t-shirt. The t-shirts are my favorite, or a sweatshirt, or a long sleeve. We're kind of running low on some stuff. I got two different kinds of hats, and then two different kinds of winter hats. Fall's coming really fast, I know, up here in northern Minnesota. It's gonna be here in no time. Yeah, go over there, check it out. If you wanna comment, comment below. Tell me something you like about my videos, and I'm gonna keep them coming, but for now, we're gonna get ready to go. I'm kinda, kinda packed the rest of the night. I don't know if I'll really record much else tonight. We're gonna leave tomorrow, so come on with. time is it? I just got off work. It is 11.59. The sucky part is Shay doesn't get done with class until 2.50. So I gotta wait for her to be done. But I'm gonna run home and shower, pack the rest of my stuff, and um, should be pretty good to go. I think. There's nothing else I really gotta do. Pretty much all of our stuff. A little trash bag. Um, just put a couple more things in the cooler. Got a chair. I got one fishing rod, but I think I think I might buy a fly fishing rod either on the way or when we're out there. And then I got my sleeping bag. I got two pillows, a blanket, and my mattress. That full of water. There's a fan because my solar actually runs a fan in here. We're running two separate mattresses on this trip, so. This bed, I have to go back here. Just gotta get her in the car. Just in case. What are those? <laughs> My wipes. Alright, we're driving. Straight shot time. Been here before us. I was here in my um, snowmobiling Wyoming video. It's uh, currently 2:10. We're in Rapid City, and we're going to sleep. We'll see y'all in the morning. Oh. All right. Sight of the Black Hills. We're right outside Rapid City right now. It's having us kind of go south of Rapid City and then in. And we're going to go towards uh, Keystone. We're going to go find a place to make some breakfast because it's 8 o'clock right now and the uh, day is just beginning. It's already 65 degrees. It's going to be a, a hot one today. So I've just been using the All Trails app, All Trails, and uh, I Overland, and it came, it brought us to this spot actually, which is there's a little four service road that comes up the hill, not far out of Rapid City, and then you know a little other trails that break off. So we just came down here and found a spot that looks like other people have camped. I'm just gonna make some breakfast. <laughs> a little taco. <laughs> a little taco. We got stuff for eggs and bacon, so we're gonna make some eggs and bacon. Get some bacon going. My doctor the other day told me to heavily salt all my food. Heavily salt? Yeah. Really? <laughs> That's so funny because you never let me put salt in my it's food. Just of my... If you ask Gordon Ramsay how to make eggs, he's gonna make it in a pot 
and he's gonna apply to heat and then take off the heat and stir them. Can I bake them in here? No. Right. Now we're in Hill City and we're just about to leave. Upside, I picked up a cheaper fly rod, it's five weight, nine footer, four piece. And then we got our gold pan. So. And I got a water bottle finally. Put some stickers on it. I like building a water bottle with, uh, with stickers from where I went. So this was the first sticker I bought. Hill City's cool, there's a lot of stuff we could spend a whole freaking time here. So we got this, because in my last water bottle I had a Sasquatch. And then we got, I wanted to get a bison on there, so I got a small Black Hills, South Dakota sticker. Bought a Needles Highway, because we're gonna go do that. We're just pulling the Crazy Horse here. We're gonna go check it out. I've never seen Crazy Horse. I've been to Rushmore, but I've never seen Crazy Horse. Um, right back there, there's helicopter rides. I've seen a helicopter buzzing around. It says $59. Guessing that's per person, but that's not bad. Oh, you can see Crazy Horse right there. Holy. Oh, yeah. Crazy Horse. Had to pay $30 to get in here, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. It's pretty cool. It's huge. I think we should go look for animals later because they're not going to be moving right now. Middle of the day. Look at that. That right there is Mount, Mount Rushmore. Freaking cool. There's side by sides everywhere. Yeah, so right now we are right, right here right now. We're going to make some food. So yeah. Yeah, we're gonna stop at Center Lake. But there was uh, there was a ton of people there, so yeah, we found a we found a spot where we can see Mount Rushmore to make some uh, cheese quesadillas and then peanut butter and jellies. <laughs> I think I got enough service here to get my license too, so that's cool. Stopped in Custer, I got a pair of shorts since I ripped the pair of mine. Now we're headed up to, what is the lake called? Pactola Reservoir. I try to camp right there for the night. I guess you can fly fish the river that comes out by the dam. I do have my license now. Maybe we'll try to do a little bit of that, but I think we're gonna get there kind of right at dark. So probably just basically set up camp and chill. And then tomorrow morning is a new day, 
So it's going back through Hill City again. What? There was like a cat on the dash of that car that just went by. Really? Yeah, it was <laughs> sitting on the dash. <laughs> Yeah, so on our way in here, I hit a little bump and she was reaching for the dash. And my little thing that she got me was hanging on the some fishing line on the dash. And it caught her finger and she bent it all the way open. It got buried in her finger. Yeah, so that's not good. It's all right, we got alcohol wipe here and then some napkins. So that'll end me hanging this up there because everyone that comes in my truck likes it, likes it too much. But I'll hang it somewhere else in here. Somewhere where people can get to it. But anyways, we found our spot. We found our camping spot. Look at this. It's all US Forest Service land. And we have one of the best, I hear, one of the best uh, rivers around to fish. And I just got my license, so it's gonna be cool. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to fish this. That's where we're gonna camp for the night. And here's the river. And there's fish in here. I'm gonna get camp set up and make sure Shay's all good and uh, maybe make some food. Probably not. We had ice cream, so we're not really hungry. Ready? Yeah, so I don't know if uh, this will be part one or if there will be just one big video, but if it is, then go watch the next video because it'll be on tomorrow. And uh, if you guys liked the video today, just hit that like button and uh, go subscribe for me down below. Leave a comment if you like. Maybe comment a place out here that you've been that I didn't go that is uh, cool. Maybe I'll come back and go to those spots. So we're going to uh, hit the hay and uh, get ready to film tomorrow. We'll see you all in the morning. This is Jarrett and Shay with Northern Tactics. We'll see you, bye.